Up next is SMU head coach Sonny Dykes. The Mustangs are 9-1 and one overall, 5-1 and one in the American Athletic Conference. SMU is in action this past week against ECU. SMU won the game 59-51. to uh, The Mustangs are idle this week. They'll be back in action November 23rd at Navy. Uh, coach, thanks for joining us on the call. Would you get your thoughts on the, uh, the win against ECU, please, and uh, your plans for the open week as you get ready for the game against Navy, please? Yeah, um, good, you know, good to get a win. Uh, Hard-fought game. you got to give uh, East Carolina a lot of credit. They came in and played really hard. I thought their coaching staff did a really nice job getting their players ready to play. And, um, you know, we started pretty good defensively and, you know, had a couple, held them to a couple three and outs early in the game. And then they got hot, you know, thought the quarterback played well. Uh, obviously had a couple of receivers really had great games as well. So got to give them a lot of credit. Um, I thought we played well on offense. You know, we had, we needed to, to have a chance to, you know, to, to win the game and to, to, you know, be able to, to, to stay ahead. Um, you know, I thought we, um, you know, did a good job addressing some of the issues we had last week against Memphis. You know, we covered kicks well. I thought we we did a really good job with our kickoff coverage, and that was a big point of emphasis for us. And, you know, I thought our kids played hard, and, and it was good to get a win. We'll take questions for Coach Sonny Dykes, please. Star one on your telephone keypad to join the queue, and the operator will introduce you. The first question comes from Dan Tortoro from wakeupcalldt.com. Please go ahead. Good morning, Coach. How are you? Great, thanks. How are you? Doing well, thanks for asking. Uh, four a- AAC teams, uh, including yours, with one loss through 11 weeks, and East Carolina comes into that game and pushes you to the brink. Just what it says about the quality of this conference all the way through. Yeah, I mean, I think you just look you look at the teams in the league, you know, the – the you know you look at what Tulsa uh, did this past week and what they did the week before you know having an opportunity to beat Memphis and having an opportunity to beat us early in the year and you know it's just it's it's a good football league I mean there's a lot of good players there's really great skill players in this league week in week out you know you, if you play against somebody and their quarterback gets hot and uh, just like uh, you know East Carolina's did I thought he played really really well um, you know then then it's hard to hard to get some stops. Um, and, and, you know, I just think the league from top to bottom is really, really good. Um, you know, and it just seems like the margin for error every Saturday is very small. Um, and it comes down to, you know, a lot of times to kicking game or to, you know, quarterback play. You know, I think so important as well. And so, um, you know, we've been fortunate to win some close games and, and, um, you know, you know what that does. It just gives you confidence that you're going to continue to win those. But, but again, I think the league is outstanding. I think there's a lot of outstanding coaches in the league. Uh, you have to play well every Saturday, or you won't win. Uh, if you turn the ball over, you're going to get beat. And, um, and again, I think that, you know, just uh, the teams with some of the the teams in the league that don't have necessarily great records are very good football teams. And then just to, to speak on being in the race at this point in the season, to be in the race in the West with with Navy as well as Memphis, just what you can say about how close and obviously how hard fought that is, most likely going all the way to the end of the season. Yeah, I think again it just speaks to, to the quality of the depth of our conference. You know, there's um, uh, there's just a lot of good football, and as I said, every team you play is well coached and, and, and plays hard. And you know, I've been in other leagues and and. Uh, you have know, coaching the SEC and the Big 12 and the Pac-12 and, and the WAC and, I mean, just a bunch of different places. And I just can't say enough about the quality of competition in this league. And, you know, lots of good coaches, lots of guys that have been around, um, you know, have coached in big games and, and a lot of good players. So, you know, we're excited to be in November and playing meaningful games. That's what, what, what we want to do at the beginning of the year. That's always a goal of ours is to be, you know, in contention for a conference championship in November and, you know, we have we have a, a week to get healthy and and uh, you know rest up a little bit, and we're going to have to go on the road and play against a very good Navy team. So um, the next couple of weeks are going to be challenging. We know that, and we're looking forward to it. Well, thank you, Coach, and good luck moving forward. Okay, thank you. We take our next question from Ronnie Woodward from Greenfield Daily Reflector. Please go ahead. Hey, Sonny, uh, I'm curious, at the end of the game on Saturday, that last pooch punt slash uh, pass to Prochet kind of sequence, you took a timeout, and obviously there's a lot of maybe question of what y'all were going to do. Just 
Could you take me through that? Were, were you all seriously going to punt it at all, or were you definitely kind of going to go for it either way, or did Michelle have an option maybe to, to do either one? Yeah, yeah, what we do is we do some quarterback punt, you know, where our punter, our quarterback punts the ball, and Shane's pretty good at doing it. It's been something that's allowed us to, to pin some, you know, some folks back um, at times. But, you know, we just felt like that, it, you know, it's, you know, what it allows us to do, too, is we can check up some plays uh, if we get a certain look or a matchup that we like. Um, and we got – I was – we got a, we were a little late getting a call in, and so we decided to take a timeout and, and, you know, had a couple of different things called depending on the look and what we got. And so we had an opportunity to throw James a slant and, and you know, and executed it well. You know, it was well covered, and, and Shane made a good throw, and James made a good play, and we were able to run the clock out. You know, at that stage of the game, you know, East Carolina, it was, you know, we, we hadn't gotten a lot of stops. And, uh, and and they had a lot of momentum, and our guys were a little worn down. And so, you know, we felt like that it was worth taking the risk uh, just to go ahead and, and try to win the game offensively at, the, at that stage of the game. So, you know, those are tough decisions to make sometimes. And, and you know, we felt like we needed to, to do that to have a chance to win. Okay. So, when you all went back out on the field after the timeout, Shane – had the option to kind of read the defense and decide what to do from there, I guess. Yeah. 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 So okay. one thing, you know, like I said, we've got it, we've got a play called and if we don't like the look of the play, then, then he can check it and punt it. Okay. Got it. Thanks coach. Okay. Thank you. We take our next question from Tom Shanahan from news and observer. Please go ahead. Hi, Coach. I was wondering if you could comment on the game by uh, Tyler Sneed. Uh, was he a little, is he a little tougher than he looks on film to cover, or just how does a little guy like that uh, get away, get open so much? Yeah, yeah. He's a really – obviously a great player, had a huge game against us. Um, you know, again, I thought I thought that – first of all, I thought they had a good good game plan. They got him matched up on some guys, um, you know, that, that were having a hard time covering him. Um you know, they executed well. I mean, quarterback made some really good throws. Really impressed with how their quarterback played. I thought I thought he was, um, you know, really solid. Uh, did a fantastic job, you know, giving, giving those receivers opportunities to make plays. And we thought coming in that they had a really talented wide receiver core and felt like, you know, they had three guys that were, were really talented, and certainly he was one of them. Um, you know, he just did a great job making plays. You know, like I said, he was he's tough to cover. He's quick. I gets in and out of his break fast, and when you have a quarterback that's hot like he was Saturday, um, you know he just was accurate, got the ball out on time, and, and he made he made plays, and he made plays when we covered him well, and, and like I said, he got they, they had some favorable matchups that they took advantage of. Great, thank you, coach. Okay, appreciate it. Next question comes from Billy Embody from Twenty Four Seven Sports. Please go ahead. Hi, Sonny. I saw that uh, it was a conference record for Ford in terms of attendance. Just wanted your thoughts on the crowd that was out there for, for homecoming and just kind of that progression from obviously early in the year to, to how well you guys are, are drawing um, so far this week. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm just really appreciative, and I know our players are appreciative, um, you know, of our fans for, for the support that we've gotten this year. You know, it's just it's amazing how fast um, how fast that's changed. You know, just a year ago, we just I didn't see a lot of SMU stuff. You know, around campus, not a lot of SMU gear, not a lot of not a lot of flags, not a lot of bumper stickers on cars, that type of thing. And now it's fun just to see, you know, the support that we're getting, and and it just helps us in so many different ways. Obviously, you know, helps our, our current players to get more of a home field advantage, helps in recruiting, um, it just helps in the overall pride I think for the university, and and I think really has a big impact on on everything. Um, you know, and I think it'll have a big impact on, you know, the quality of, of applicants for the admission to the university. I mean, just all these different things that can be affected by having a successful football program. It just can make a lot of difference, a difference for a university in a lot of different ways. Um, and so anyway, that, that part's fun. I think, like I said, it means a lot to our players. I thought the crowd was great. You know, I think it's fun. You know, the, the, the Hill has been something that's been really popular. You know, we got a lot of stu students and, and and young people that are, that are enjoying sitting on the Hill, and it, it makes for a great home field advantage, particularly when we're on that side of the field. 
So, you know, I think we're just getting started in terms of our attendance. I think it'll continue to build from here and, you know, and, and we've got to do a great job of making a push next year's sell season tickets. And, you know, I think the community is, has started to come out and support SMU and I'm real appreciative for that. And just everybody's gotten on board. Um, and I think it's, it's made it a fun atmosphere um, in an atmosphere that, that, you know, is going to help us win some football games. And can you can you expand on the recruiting aspect of it? Because I mean, you know, when you look around the country at you know X big school or whatever that has a big crowd every weekend, it seems like for for you guys to have that type of a crowd and to show that to recruits along with kind of the facilities improvements and all that, that's got to be something that maybe you guys didn't think you might have this this quickly. Yeah, yeah, I think so for sure. I think I think it does make a huge difference in recruiting. I mean. You know, everybody wants to feel supported, and, and the more people are in the stands, the more the players feel supported, and you know, the more coaches feel supported, and everybody, and it just shows that the you know that football is important at SMU, um, and you know, and I think it just speaks to the potential of the program. I think that, as I said, I think that that attendance usually takes some time uh, to to increase and to grow. Um, and you know, again, credit to our fans for for coming out this year and in record numbers and, and, um, you know, and like I said, I'm excited about where this thing's headed from an attendance standpoint moving forward. I think that we'll sell a lot more season tickets next year. And I think the crowd will continue to grow. Great. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Take one final question for Sonny Bikes, please. Next question comes from Damon Stiles from rivals.com. Please go ahead. Morning, Sonny. How are you doing today? Great, thanks. How are you? Good. Uh, I wanted to ask you just about, uh, you know, the upcoming preparation. You've got a bye week here, and while the offense is clicking, uh, this is a time for you guys to kind of fine-tune what the defense has done. just wanted to get your thoughts on what you've seen uh, the last two weeks from the from defensive play. Yeah, yeah, we, we certainly ha haven't played as well as we've, we've played up to this point the last two weeks, I and mean, I think we're starting to – you know, I think we're a little worn down. You know, we've had a lot of guys that have taken a lot of snaps on the defensive side of the ball. We didn't look as fast Saturday as we have up to this point. You know, it's week 11 of the season. We, again, our, we've played a lot of snaps, and we've got some guys that they are a little beat up and a little worn down. I think having a couple of days to recover will make a big difference. And then we've got a couple of things we got to get fixed. Um, you know, we've played two two really good offensive football teams the last two weeks. I mean, we gave up a lot of yards and a lot of points against East Carolina, and, and they did the same thing the week before against Cincinnati, who who is one of the top defenses in our league. And so, you know, they're a good football team, but we've got to we got to we got to get better and we got to get some things fixed. And having an open week will be will be really big for doing that. Obviously, we play Navy a week from Saturday, and having a couple of extra days to prepare for for their offense and the unique challenges uh, that you have when you play them. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll we'll be able to use these extra days. Um, you know, and, and hopefully not only rest and recover, but also, you know, get a head start on a, on a tough prep. Navy's prep is always a tough week because it's just so different than what you normally see. And they do such a great job of running their offense and executing. So, you know, it's going to be important for us. This, this open date will be really, really critical, you know, for us to not only, like I said, heal up a little bit, but, but, you know, fix some of the, the issues that have plagued us the last couple of weeks. And we, we saw a lot of Brian Holloway on the field at linebacker here. Um, can you give an update on, on Delano Robinson? Is, is he okay or what's his status? Yeah, we you know, we thought Delano was going to be a game-time decision. It kind of felt like he was probably going to play. And he just, you know, we just didn't want to set him back with the open date coming up. And so I would anticipate him being back fully healthy for, for Navy. We're certainly going to need him. Um, you know, and Brian Brian did a good job filling in, but Delano's been one of those players that's been really consistent for us. And, you know, you can always tell when Delano's not in the game. Uh, there, there's been a difference. And so, you know, we need to get him back and get him back healthy and, and fully anticipate him back and, and ready to roll uh, against Navy. Thanks, Sonny. Appreciate it. Enjoy the time off. Okay, thank you. Coach, we appreciate your time today, as always, and look forward to hearing from you once again next Monday. 